Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's nice to see you again. So we're gonna check about the platform first as usual, so you can check about that. So this is the class of tonight. And uh, here is the question for you to check into that one, okay? Also, please remember to continue doing the platform, which is very important on a daily basis. And uh, we're gonna check the attendance, my friends. So, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Yes, and teacher. Good. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jarvin Isaac Guevara de Miranda. Oh, Miranda, I'm sorry. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. <coughs> Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ibeth Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. Jessica Janari Cortez Diaz. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Good, perfect. Okay. So we're going to start the class off tonight. And, well, there were some people that still were missing the presentation uh, yesterday. So, and, uh, uh, okay, I guess at this point, uh, there are just two people here. Oh, well, Roberto Luis also, but I guess it's not possible for him. So, Leima Yvonne, it's possible for you to do the presentation or it's not possible? Okay, not possible. What about Ileana Giselle? Not possible either. Heidi. Teacher, I just trying to find out the way to share the presentation. Okay, are you using I... your cell phone? Yeah. Well, the best that you can do is for first of all to open the presentation, then share uh, the screen and look for the presentation, then move on. Okay, let me try it. Let me try. Of course. If it's possible, you can share via WhatsApp as well. Maybe that way I can receive because on the email, 
I did not receive any. Did you share it or just send the presentation? I I I sent it, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have it here. To be I honest. sent it, but maybe it's too heavy. That's what I was thinking. So sometimes that happens. And uh, uh, is it possible for you to send it via WhatsApp? I'll try to send it that way. Okay. And if it's not possible, just open it and then try to share the screen. Okay. Let me just. Maybe I'm going to need a few more minutes, teacher, to try to send it to you by WhatsApp. Okay, perfect, not a problem. So, and uh, Elena Isel, are you able to present or not? Nobody else is missing, right? I guess. Okay, so we're gonna start and uh, we are going to start with uh, the grammar we were checking before, that is two. Okay, so let me just share my screen. Okay, so that is it. And uh, well, as you remember, we were discussing about two and maybe adjectives or adverbs of nouns. So two, uh, whenever we use that way, is like more than enough too much, right? So we use two meaning more than enough in different positions. Yes. And as we were discussing, two before adjectives and adverbs. So we use two immediately before adjectives and adverbs. So for example, the coffee is too sweet. Okay, uh, we don't say this coffee is too much sweet. No, not possible. I can't sleep, it's too hot, right? Not good. Remember that the meaning was kind of negative. It happened too quickly, so I just didn't see it. So, as you can see, it's possible to use it in any tense, future, past, present. The car was traveling too fast and went out of control. Okay, so uh, too fast with an adjective. Uh, too before adjective, advert plus the infinitive, that is the one that we were actually checking yesterday. The word mm -hmm. was too cold to swim in or two hours is too long to wait, okay? So this is exactly what we were checking yesterday. And of course, we can use that with uh, much, many, few, or little. So when we want to talk about quantities, which are more or less than enough, we use too much, too many, too few, and too little before a noun. So for example, there's too much salt in the soup. So in this case, it's too much plus an uncountable noun. There were too many dogs on the beach. Too many plus a countable noun. So it's possible to use it with countable or uncountable. Just remember that much is uncountable and many is countable, okay? I don't like this book because there are too few pictures in it. Uh, too few and the countable noun. More formal than I don't like this book because there aren't enough pictures in it. So that is the difference. You can say it in both ways, so won't have any problem. Okay, and much, uh, much too and far too is also used together at this point. We can use a much and far with too for emphasis. So this is going to be a little bit different, right? Far too is stronger than much too, okay? Too and very. Also, we can use very to add emphasis to an adjective or an adverb, but it does not mean the same as to. So, she is very careful. Very makes careful stronger. She is too careful. Too careful means more careful than is necessary. So that is the, the difference between very and to, okay? 
And we have also very much and too much. We often use very much to emphasize verbs such as like, dislike, hope, doubt. We do not use too much in this way with these verbs. I like it very much because I got it from my husband. Okay. No, I like it too much. So I like it very much. I doubt very much that Rana will be able to come to the party. So it's not too much in this case. Okay. And parts of the last part of this one, too bad. Uh, in speaking, we can use too bad or that's too bad as a response, talking to express that we are sorry to hear about something. I know that you know this one, of course. Uh, this is particular common in American English. So, for example, the weather forecast says it's going to rain again on Wednesday. Too bad. We were planning to go for a picnic. How's your mother? She's okay, but she's feeling lonely because she lives on her own. Oh, that's too bad. Does she have many friends living nearby? So, these are kind of the all the uses of two, as you can see. Two meaning also. We can uh, use to to mean also. It is more common than also in informal situations. We normally use it at the end of the clause. So for example, have you decided? I think I'll have the soup. I have that too. I know that you know this. Catherine decided to join us for dinner and her husband came along too. Or more formal, and her husband also came along, okay? That is the difference. Two is more informal than also in these kind of sentences. And then in short answers in informal situations, we normally say me too, no, I too, of course. I love that color, me too, okay? In more formal situations, we can use two immediately after the subject. You too could have a week in the sun. So this is kind of not, that common, but it's possible. I mean, in grammar, it's possible to do that one, okay? Um, and there are some others, like also as well or two. Which one we are going to use? So we don't use two to emphasize adjectives or others. We use very, because two is like too much, right? Eh, more than enough. She was very beautiful. So we emphasize on that one, okay? And uh, that is it. So I know that um, maybe the most of things you know that already, but I would like to ask if you have any questions about this. I'm going to share the link uh, in the watch. Uh, yeah, for YouTube. Check onto that one and have the information. Okay, so let's, uh, we're gonna check a little video that is like a story for you to, to check the uses of that one. So uh, let me just check into that one, okay? So this is it. Okay, I'm gonna share with you this one and then you are going to tell me um, what did you get on the story and how did you find the story, the story and the, the uses of the, of the word too. Here we go. Elf Learning proudly presents a Halloween story. Too much candy. This is Jay and his family. They're getting ready for Halloween. Jay's mom is on the steps. She's making his Halloween costume. Jay and his dad are decorating the front porch. There's a scarecrow on the swing, spiders in the corner, and paper bats hanging from the ceiling. Now it's time to carve the jack-o'-lantern. They cut out the top, they pull out the seeds, and they cut out the face. There are two circle eyes, a triangle nose, and three square teeth. They put the jack-o'-lantern 
on a table on the front porch next to a big scary bowl of candy. But Jay's mom and dad say, Jay, you can only have one piece of candy each day. Jay is not happy. The next morning, Jay wakes up. <gasps> he remembers the candy. He puts on his backpack and he gets ready to go to school. As he walks out the door, he grabs a big handful of candy and runs to school. When he comes home, something's different. The jack-o'-lantern is different. The eyes are a little scarier. The nose is a little smaller. And the teeth are a little sharper. What happened? The next morning when Jay goes to school, he takes another big handful of candy and runs to school. When he comes back, the jack-o'-lantern is even scarier. The eyes are scarier. The nose is smaller. The teeth are sharper. What's happening? The next morning when Jay goes to school, he grabs another big handful of candy and runs to school. But when he comes home, the jack-o'-lantern is very scary. The eyes are very scary. The nose is very small. And the teeth are very sharp. That night, Jay hears a voice, a whisper from outside. He gets out of bed, walks down the stairs, opens the front door. <gasps> Where is the jack-o'-lantern? Where is the candy? <gasps> he hears the voice again. Too much candy. He walks down the stairs and walks to the corner. And again, he hears the voice. He walks around the corner and looks. There's nothing there. Too much candy. It's coming from behind him. He slowly turns around. Too much candy. Jay's in bed. He wakes up. It was all just a dream. <sighs> Too Much Candy by Elf Learning. Were you scared? Okay, what did you get from the video? My God, poor kid. <laughs> <laughs> too much candy. And yeah. They were emphasizing the uses of too much. It's a good, good uh, way to understand the concept. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice thing. And I, you know, I really like this one, uh, even though it's for kids, because the weight of the narrator is very nice. I mean, it's like yeah. pause. And sometimes, I mean, the way that he speaks and reads the story is a very nice thing. Sometimes mm -hmm. we forget about that one whenever we're reading. So we <laughs> read black, but we, you know, there was a time when we were, but when we emphasize, when mm -hmm. we have intonation and rhythm uh, and we tell something, then it's going to be easier for other people to understand what we want to transmit, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Very good, perfect. Any other comments on the video?
Sometimes also we have some Spanish ideas in English, right, as usual. So for example, candy, we can say candies. But you can see that candy is uncountable. Too much candy, not too many candies, right? Too much candy. Where is the candy, he says. He didn't say, where are the candies? He said, where is the candy? So sometimes when we listen or when we watch kind of videos like that, those are the things that we need to identify, right? Little things that maybe we didn't get the very first time, but if we listen carefully, we will be able to identify strange things or things that are not coming for us. And I analyze it. And then in this situation, what is going to, what is happening? What happens is that candy is uncountable, non-countable. So it's totally different from Spanish, right? That is it. Okay, is if we can, if we want to use many, we, we will need or we might need use piece. Too many pieces of candy. Too many pieces of candy, yeah. Pieces of candy, okay. That way. Okay, but candy for for it for it itself is uh, uncountable. It's uncountable, at least in this kind of situation. This is very similar to rice. So yeah, for example, I mean I know that we can count some rices, right? But we never go to to a restaurant and says we want 1,862 rices, right? So it's not possible. That's why it's uncountable. Like chicken, chicken is a very good example. I mean, chicken, the animal, yeah, you can say three chickens, but chicken, the food is not possible. A lot of chicken, a little bit of chicken, some pieces of chicken, but never chicken in plural or with a number when you are speaking about food. So those little things we need to remember. And this is what is interesting about this kind of activities. So sometimes we, I play some videos and there are people speaking, but then, I mean, it's not only interesting the topic that they're discussing in little things like this, in little stories, you can identify little things and you can learn. Whenever you realize about those little things, you are learning, right? You are analyzing and then you can use English in a proper way. Good, any other questions, comments on this? I have a question. Go ahead. When you use a two or when, or when you use a, a very, well, she is very beautiful or she is too much beautiful, I don't know. Okay, yeah, that is a valid question. So we're going to use very when you want to emphasize the adjective. So when you say uh, that is um, very big, for example, very big is good. I mean, oh, oh, that is very big. That is nice. So it's nice that it's big. When we, you use too big, for example, that is too big, the meaning is, is negative. It's not good. It's too big. I don't like it. So in very, you emphasize the adjective. In two, what you are telling is that it's more than enough. It's about the quantity itself or um, not good enough. I mean, it's not going to be good. It's a negative context. In very, it's a good context. It's something nice. It's emphasizing the adjective. So that will be the difference. Okay, any other question? Okay, we are gonna do some exercises then. Okay, too, too much, too many, or enough. Aha, uh -huh. so we are getting back to the English tests. You remember that we were doing this before? So today we're gonna do some of this. And the first ones are going to be, about, uh, of course, related to the topic that we're discussing. So we're going to choose the correct one. So my friends, Billy is not mature. Uh, too, too much, too many, or enough. No. Not, not mature enough to cope with the situation on his own. Okay. Billy is not mature enough to cope. What is cope? Something like to, to deal with. Yeah, some things that you are you need to deal with and you will be able to overcome, right? Very good. 
Okay, number two, the bus is? Too. Too heavy. Too heavy. Okay. So the box is too heavy for you to lift along. Okay. Number three, I don't like. Too much. Mm -hmm. Too much because mm -hmm. salt is uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I don't like too much salt in my salad. Nice. Number four, I have. Too many. Too many. Mm -hmm. Too many. Everybody agrees on this one? Too many. Strange ideas. Yes. Okay, very good. Strange ideas about what to do next. Good. Number five. You are gaining weight because you don't exercise too much? No. Enough. Oh, enough. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, enough. So it seems that it was winning enough. You can go for a while with a jacket. The weather. Too, too windy. Too windy. Mm -hmm. Just too. Too windy today. Good. Yeah, those times are coming, right? The windy days. Be careful because lots of people are getting the flu. So be careful on that one. Number seven. There is too much. Too much. Everybody agrees? Or, or, or. Much. No, no, no. There is. Uh, what happened? Yes, too much for me is too much. It's, it's mm, because it's a too much because it's uncomfortable too much. Okay, too much. Let's take too much. Okay, number eight. Rose is clever. Enough. Everybody agrees. Rose is clever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, enough then. Number nine, Peter is too kind. Too kind. Mm -hmm. Too kind. kind. Too kind. kind. Yes. Very good. So Peter is too kind to shout at anyone. Number ten, we have to pay too much. Too money. Much. Money. <laughs> much money. Okay, too much money for it is not reasonable. Number eleven, Rudolph believes he has many, too many duties many. to complete. Too many. too many duties to complete in one day. Maybe that is true. There is. Too much. Too much. Everybody agrees? Too much. Much to listen. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, yes. too much. Moisture in the basement. I don't know how to get rid of it. What is moisture? Okay. I've seen something like humidity. Okay, humidity. Very good. Like wet. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Number 13, don't you think your friend may forget to come? I see you are not sure. Enough. Enough. Okay, enough, says everybody. Good. Number 14, you took? Too many. Mm -hmm. Too many? Too many. Suitcases. Too many. Okay. okay, you took too many suitcases on your trip. You don't need so many things for two weeks, okay? Last one, I am too frustrated. Too frustrated. Okay, too frustrated. Let's check, my friends. Yes. Good, you are amazing. So everything is correct. So awesome. Be nice, I'm proud of you. You're ready for the TOEFL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no, you will do a very good job on that one. And of course, 
we're going to check something so that one so very good perfect let's check the other one i have another one here too too much too many are enough let's see how it goes in this one so the boy is too small too small too small Oops, i'm sorry my mistake Oops. too much only two Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> too small. That's the one you want, right? Yes. Okay. The boy is too small to understand everything. Well, sometimes that's not true. Number two, you think? Too much. Much. Okay. You think too much about the past. Try to focus more on the present moment. That's a good advice. Number three, watching a good comedy is? enough everybody agrees on enough mm. oh yes enough enough yes enough okay so watching a good comedy is enough for improving my mood mm, okay uh, then number four there are too many too many, too many. Okay, so there are too many mistakes in your dictation. You need to rewrite it once again. Good, number five. Bob won't clean the backyard. He is? Lazy. Two, everybody agrees? Lazy for that. Yeah. Okay, too lazy for that. Nice. Number six, you put much sugar. Too much, too much. Too much sugar in your tea. It is not healthy. Okay. Number seven, don't complain that you are short of money. I think you have enough. Thank you. No. Very good. Let's see how it goes. Number eight, I can't solve the problem. It seems. Two. Two. Everybody agrees on this? Yes. Okay. I can't solve the problem. It seems too tricky. Okay. What is tricky, my friends? Tricky is a. Uh... Like uh, mm, confusing, but confusing, but uh, yes, confusing, maybe. Okay, yeah, something that is not that clear, right? You are not sure about yes. the answer. Good. Number nine, Nora always asks. Too many. Too many, everybody agrees? Yes. Okay, your word is enough. Enough, everybody agrees? Yes. Okay, number 11. Well, it says your word is enough to confirm the final decision. Okay, so number 11, uh, there is too much. That's in the wind. Too much dust. Okay. So, yeah, there is too much dust on the shelves. Where are you going to tidy your room? Okay, we have two questions here. What is shelves? Shelves is like a uh, 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 place when you put scenes. Uh, My clothes. Like books, books. The books. Uh, very good. So that is like shelves is the plural of shelf. That is like where you put that on the wall and then the, yes. yeah, the things there. And the other one is tidy. What is tidy? Where are you going to tidy? Tidy is something like clean? Oh. Okay, something like clean, something like, um, let's say... Trained? Uh, like um, less space. Um, not that oh. much, but it's like it's like uh, 
the opposite of messy, let's say. So organize, clean, clean and organize all together. Good. Number 12, William is hard working. Hard working is... Too much. Too much? Hard okay, too much. Everybody agrees? Too much is hard work too much. It, it like a contradiction, hard working too much, hard working too much, but maybe too much. Okay, let's check. And number 13, she needs... She needs... Too many? Too many. Too many. Okay. If if not enough countable attention is not countable is mm -hmm. too much of my attention. Too mm -hmm. much. Too much. Okay. She needs too much of my attention. Okay. Number fourteen. The man is too old. Too old. Too old. Too old. Okay. Too old to take up parachuting. What is parachuting? Is the jumping from the airplane? Yeah, yeah. When you jump with from the airplane, airplane. No, uh, no. <laughs> like with the security bag, right? Yes. The backpack, and yes. then you open that one. And <laughs> Good. The last one says there are too many, too many people in the swimming pool now. Too many. Everybody agrees. Yeah. Yeah. Too many. Yeah. Okay, there are too many people in the swimming pool now. I will swim a bit later. Okay, like people in El Salvador. So let's check into that. Okay, so this one, only it's one mistake. Her work, is, her work is seems to me like a contradiction, her working with too much. Okay, so which maybe, one would you put? Enough. Maybe, maybe yeah. enough, yes. No. Uh huh. That's the one. Yes. Okay. William is hard working enough to get the job done on time. Very good. Perfect. I mean, one that is fine. Okay. One is good, and the other one was complete. So that was very very nice. Um, let me just check to see if I can open uh, the presentation of high school. Yeah, I guess it's possible. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. So uh, we're gonna, uh, if you're ready, Heidi, we're gonna check about your presentation. I'm ready, teacher, thank you. Of course, let me then just share here the screen and just let me know whenever uh, you want me to, to do the whole thing, let me just check. Oh my goodness. Hold on a second. Okay, let's do it like that. It's not possible to do the other way around. Okay, all right. So this is uh, uh, Heidi's presentation. We're going to listen to her and remember that if you have questions or comments at the end, of course, you're welcome to do it. So. Um... Okay, uh, good evening. Uh, the first question I would like to ask now is, are you happy with your actual banking experience when you visit the branch? But can you imagine a lot of time waiting? I guess that that's what everyone thought. Yeah. Um, but the good news is, uh, can you go to the next one? Of course. The good news is that banking digitalization is is growing and growing. Banking digitalization, what does this term means? 
is in, uh, digital banking enables the bank customers to access banking products and services via an electronic online platform. Digital banking means to digitalize all of the banking operation and substitute the bank's physical presence with an everlasting online presence, eliminating a customer's need to visit a branch. In normal words, the digitalization of the banks means in the, near, in the near future, banks will be invisible. Banking will be more intertwined in the lives of customers than ever before. Accessing banking services anytime, anywhere, without the need to queue with a bank. Banking will be in the palm of our hands. Traveling smarter will cash multi the currency exchange model payment and more through all in one wallet. The smart banking open up a new world of possibilities. Faster payment system enable instant interbank transfers. Digital transformation is checking up the banking industry. With the rise of virtual banking and digital bank, traditional banks who have to adapt will be left behind. Uh, can you go to the next one, teacher, please? Okay, banking digitalization. The background is that in recent years, the rise and development of digital technologies is transforming the financial sector to the point of facing a paradigm shift. The emergence of new models of new generation banking intermediation based on taking advantage of the benefits of emerging technology and with clear focus on innovation as a differential factor, it's experiencing strong growth and rapid expansion around the world. This came most popular during the pandemic where everyone was afraid to visit places uh, that were usually most visited, such as supermarkets, banks, if you remember, uh, uh, they even rank the places where you could get COVID so easily and banks were the first places. So banking digitalization, uh, this, this, this term was, was um, more in growth during, during the pandemic and has rapid expansion in these days. So on the other hand, technological innovation is leading to the emergence of innovative payment solutions that are popularizing new digital payment methods, such as Bitsum in Spain or new payment solutions such as Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, among others. Can we go to the next, please, teacher? So the one million question is, if we are ready for the future of digital banking, what do you think, guys? Yeah, it's much better. Definitely. Okay, we go to the next one. I would like to share tonight with you a new app powered by Banco Cuscatlan called New. Uh, what is new is an app where you can send and request money from your contacts using only their phone, their phone number with 100% commission free. You can pay in stores through QR codes, and you can um, you you can divide your account among your contacts. For example, Ana Claudia, my friend, can you tell me when you go out with your friends, mm -hmm. uh, how is the, how is that you pay the the account? Oh how my god, you? it's a mess. Last Saturday happens to us that we were with some friends. And the waitress, they had to make separate uh, <laughs> separate accounts for us to pay. And all of us, we use different payment methods. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, with this, with this app, you will be able to divide your account and make a uh, whole payment with, 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 with this app. Well, but, you can but, also pay, transfer, share, and discover the app designed for you who are looking to have better control of your money. If Hi, you require your, and you and let me ask you, and this app will be, for example, if my friend has a, a, a saving account in one bank and another in another bank and, mm -hmm. and the other and a third one, can they synchronize or must be just in Banco Cuscatlán? You can add any any debit card or credit card from any bank. Ah, oh, 
Hey, it's okay. great. It's great. Thank With you. new, you can pay at your favorite shops and restaurants, send request money from our friends, keep all your finances in order and forget about your wallet. Open or associate an account in matter of minutes without queues waiting or getting bogged down in paperwork. Ask for personalized debit card that will arrive at the door of your house. Enjoy the new side of your money and simplify your life. As if that were not enough, you can also add, card, add cards from any bank and pay at thousands of affiliated business. Send money, create collections and split payment between friends. Control your expenses and review your movements instantly. Enjoy promotions and benefits when paying with new. We are all in. What are you waiting, guys? We have to up, uh, download this app, which is great. And let me tell you that you, if you want to open an account, you don't need to go to the bank anymore. You can do it by, by the site. And it is so easy. It only takes 10 minutes to do it. It is a new world. And, and I like to share with you also that when I prepared this presentation, I started doing a lot of research. And let me, let me tell you that I found out lots of, of, of facts that impact me. For example, I read that by 2030s, the 80% of, of financial firms will disappear if they don't adapt to digitalization. So it made me think, hey, I'm going to lose my job. And it could happen. But I hope uh, by that time I will be retired. <laughs> so it was not easy to investigate about this topic. Uh, can we go to the next one, teacher? Well, as I said, uh, you can download and register 100% free. You can create your new saving account and use the debit card or your choice fully digital and instantly. And you can register your debit or your credit card from, from Visa or MasterCard. I already tried and it's great and it's so fast to pay. There are a lot of business that they, they only show you the QR code and you pay and you choose uh, which account you need to get the money to pay that, 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 that tip. It is really, really easy. And at last teacher, here are the options. What, it is really, really easy, the interface. You can add your Visa or MasterCards. There's an option where you can add accounts or, or, cards, or cards. And there's a quick access to, to your favorite stores, quick access for notifications. You can create and share an instant collection and review recent movements. And you can trans transfer to your friends or your friends can transfer to you. And can we go to the last one? And here's how you find it on, on, on the Play Store, new, the new site of your money. I hope you, you like it and you use it soon. And thank you. Okay, very interesting. Thank you very much. So do you have questions? If you have questions, this is the time. Yes, I'm looking for that right now. <laughs> but I'm finding a, 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 square, a, a yellow square and in the middle, new the new word? Yeah. Ah, is that the one? Yeah, I'll send you the picture right now. Ah, okay, thank you. <laughs> it, it's, it's very nice. I already used it and it works. Ah. Uh, Okay. It works. It's great. Believe me, I read a lot about this topic, and there are countries where you pay everything with the, with this kind of apps. Everything. Mm -hmm. I mean it. I mean it. From from the supermarket to gas to uh, your your doctor's appointment, you pay everything with this kind of of platforms. And in the future, in the near future, this whole thing will change. Maybe um, at my age, the last generation who maybe believes we need to go to the bank to make so many things, right? And but the, but the young ones they don't like to go to the bank. Uh, they 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 uh, prefer to do everything online, everything. 
Mm -hmm. everything so this is the future the same way we had to adapt to to computers to to word to excel to windows we had to adapt to all of these things but they are born with this already they're so 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 smart with these platforms mm -hmm. and this is the future and it will be the future so we should start practicing don't you think yeah, actually I downloaded it already, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> Did you add your credit card of David card so fast? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just downloaded it. I just want to read a little bit before I just check but it. I but... cannot continue if I not uh, add my debit card or something like that. Yeah. Oh, it say omit, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, I found it. Okay. <laughs> I downloaded it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's very nice, and believe me, this is this kind of, of tools. We're going to see them from now on. From now on, um, I got a little bit scared because it says, for example, I I, I read about this term nail banks, which means uh, that these banks don't have physical physical branches. Location. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything mm -hmm. is online. Everything, absolutely everything. No. Mm -hmm. Very good, very interesting. Any other questions or comments for Heidi, my friends? Nothing at all. Okay, I have two questions. Um, the first one is, is it possible to transfer money uh, to other countries? It's possible to transfer to your local contacts. By local, now, by okay. now. Very well, mm -hmm. very well. And well, it says that it's uh, free. You can do the transactions. Uh, there are no fees on this one. So what I was thinking about uh, is what is the profit for the bank on this one? Well, you know, I have just told you, if we don't, don't digitalize the bank, we will literally die. We have a, um, uh, how do you say, fabrica? Factory. Factory, digital factory at the bank, working the whole time on digitalization. I'm, I'm telling you, you don't need to go to the branch to open an account, not anymore. Believe me, try. And you receive your debit card at home or, or if you want, well, you can go to the branch, but, but you don't need to, not anymore. Okay. Yeah, it's very Those banks who don't, who don't adapt to this will disappear. That's that's the future. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, nowadays, I mean, technology is moving so fast, and um, to do many things is easier. is is much very convenient. So it's going to be a very good thing, and definitely we need to move on. I, I mean, um, we need to learn. It doesn't matter what happens in the future. We need to adapt ourselves. So, and that has happened all the time. I mean, uh, for example, some people they have to adapt to the computer then to the cell phone, then to the internet. And now with this kind of transactions that uh, maybe people might think that it's kind of dangerous or not efficient, but it's not true. I mean, we just need to be careful. I believe that this kind of applications, sometimes they get a lot of security. For example, it's very common to, to put the, the fingerprint you know, there in the, in the application. So even if you lose your cell phone, nothing happens, right? Mm, I'm afraid of that because if for any reason you heart or something changes in your finger, <laughs> <laughs> the system won't be able to recognize you. I don't know. Uh, well, I don't think it's something like that. I mean, for example, I have been, uh, well, I, I use the fingerprint uh, a lot. And sometimes mm -hmm. uh, I have some cuts on my finger and it, it mm -hmm. recognizes. Maybe the oh. one that it does not recognize is when it's... it's is dirty either the the cell phone or the finger, but that is easy because you just clean it and that's it, right? It could be okay. Yeah. So it's it's interesting. maybe I mean the problem is that if, if you lose a big part of the finger, but uh -huh. hope that never happens, <laughs> right? That, that is that good. So yeah, but if you have a cut off, talking about that when you are when you are um, trying to to put your fingerprint to take the, the, the samples of the fingerprint, you take a lot of sites, Santa Claudia, a lot of sites. 
Mm. Then, then the teacher is right. If only if you are missing the half of the finger, oh, okay. You won't recognize yes, I guess beside that, that there is like a way to add a, like a, a like a secret number or something like that, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but believe me, uh, I I found the 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 topic very interesting, mm -hmm. but it kind of worries me, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, because about money, I mean, nowadays there are lots of hackers, a lot of, um, a lot of things going on, right? So yeah, you yeah. need to be careful. What does that a lot of employment will be lost? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. So and of course, sometimes what happens also is that uh, there is a, like an insurance for this kind of accounts, right? So if something happens, you of course contact your bank. Sometimes it's difficult because there is a procedure they need to follow for them to give you a refund of something that mm -hmm. was not done by you. I know that sometimes it's kind of difficult, but they, at the end, they do it, so. Very good, perfect. Any other questions or any other opinions on this one for uh, Hayden? Okay, very good. So we're gonna check the attendance because one hour has passed already. Let's see how it goes. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Iriana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. Jessica Janari Cortez Diaz. Zuleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. And Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Very good, my friend. So now uh, a few people still have not presented. So I was wondering if you are ready to present right now. From the ones that are missing the presentation. Okay, Juan Miguel, got you. Okay, so no more presentations, I see. Very well. Teacher, teacher I'm ready, sorry. Ah, very well. So we're going to then check the presentation of Francisco. So um, you can it start is... whenever you're ready and share your screen. It's so... Okay, guys. Good day, everybody. Uh, uh, everything can see my screen. Yeah, we can see. It. Okay. Okay. In in this uh, time, uh, I am talk about uh, the risk of intelligence, artificial intelligence. Okay. 
Well, uh, every time we hear more frequently the word artificial intelligence, in a few years, it has been integrated into many aspects of our life. In every time we understand that this will be a total revolution, that this will change our lives completely. In fact, we are already seeing the change in, in the follow, following presentation, we analyze some risks. Does this represent? And the first uh, risk is a behavioral impact. Uh, we already see the first example of a daily basis in many houses. Should they treat virtual assistant rudely? Since Alexa or Suri of it, without the need to ask them for things, please. The risk is that, that children can transfer this behavior to their relationship with the other people. Sometimes that as this Washington Post article warns, is already beginning to happen. More curious children, more curious, but less education. Okay, the next risk is artificial stupidity. It is um, it's getting harder and harder to fold the machines, but it is possible to do it. We imagine that there is a small human brain inside the computer, but no, it is just programming in mathematics. Just that. Uh, explain Meredith Brossard, author of the book, Artistic, Artificial Stupid, they are not infallible. They are there are makeup and custom technique to full facial recognition system. And the next, this and lack of neutrality of the machine. The artificial intelligence system used by just in the USA as an advisor has a bias and tend to discourage Black citizens for freedom more often than white. The algorithm analyzes 173 variables, none of them is race, and gives a probability of recidivism from zero to 10. The problem is not so much the machine, but the risk is that the Jews delegate to it. The other uh, risk is artificial intelligence security. The B, uh, in the web, uh, there, are, there is a video and that appeared the president, the ex-president Barack Obama insulting Donald Trump. Uh, this video went viral uh, well ago in the United States. And yet it was totally false, false. Artificial intelligence can become a great ally to manufacture fake news if we don't use it with the appropriate ethics. In this specific case, in this video, uh, is, uh, was made uh, on a fake app with the help of Adobe After Effects. The software uses machine learning to scan people's faces in a video, in an in-person at them. Next, you need tended consequence. In July 2017, all the alarms went off. Two faces chat to Facebook chatbot had developed their own language that they programmers did not understand. It was, however, a simple programming error. Uh, Ramon Lopez is an expert in artificial intelligence at the CSIC. Maintains that no machine has intention, nor why did they ever have them. They can teach themselves to play golf and be the champion, 
but they don't know their player. If we put the same machine to distinguish for all dog and cats, it will forget all of the above. They can only do one thing at a time for the moment. <laughs> the next risk, impact of the employment. Uh, there are uh, estimate impact around of uh, 40% worldwide and stressed that the implement, implementation or artificial intelligence is not always possible or desirable, whether for reason of efficiency, ethics, or legacy. But uh, in, the, in the moment, uh, for example, uh, Tesla, uh, they have uh, a system that the, uh, is, the name is autopilot. In this case, uh, the car is not used a uh, pilot. Uh, uh, all work is realized by uh, a system computer. This is a, a a very good example for this. And the last one, robot right. Because robot right. And finally, the also president of the team times with the humans asserted that robots should not have right because they do not have responsib responsibilities either. Today, a robot is not free. Therefore, it should not answer to anyone. Is the people behind a smart system who will have to respond? It is come to that, he said. And the last one, uh, in an uh, interview uh, from BBC to the scientist Stephen Hawking, he says, the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Thank you. It's, it's all. Okay, very interesting, very good. So, my friends, do you have any questions or any comments for Francisco's presentation? Nothing at all. Okay. Well, let me tell you, this is, I believe, one of the biggest debates that has happened in the world since a long time, since technology appears, right? And uh, a lot of people dream, they dream about artificial intelligence. So machines, they can do many things. Right now, they're doing so many things already for us, but not like the movies, right? Like robots or things like that. And some other people are very, very afraid of artificial intelligence about what's going to happen if the machines, they get conscious or a logical that is going to be against the humanity and things like that one. So, uh, well, it's kind of interesting. We can debate about that for a long, long time. And uh, the problem is that we don't know what is going to happen in the future, what kind of artificial intelligence we're going to have. We have that already. What is going to happen in the next, of course, depends on people. And maybe there is the problem. It's like the social media, right? Social media, I mean, in social media or in internet in general, you can find lots of good things and lots of bad things. You can learn a lot of good things and you can waste your time or learn bad things. So that depends on, on the user, let's say. The end user is the one who decides what you are going to do with the information, with the internet connection, with the social media. So, and that is a real problem. So we know that some people are not going to do good things with their resources. So, it's, it's going to be kind of interesting whenever that happens. I don't know if we will be alive uh, to see robots or things that are going to manage everything in our lives. Let's hope um, everything goes for for the good thing, right? Nice. 
interesting topic, actually. And uh, any other person wants to uh, deliver the presentation before we move on? Okay, very good. So let's practice in a different way English right now. After this, we're gonna check some, some, um, Check what is that? Ah, here's it. We're gonna do some tests. I know that you like that. So today we're gonna do check some some tests on this one. But before that one, let me just load this. Uh, we are going to practice some uh, riddles. Do you know what is a riddle? Like in Batman. Batman. What is a riddle? That's the first question. You don't, you don't, I, I don't understand the word. Riddle. Riddle. Okay, it's like R I D D L E. Riddle. Okay, so riddles are like when I say something and you have to guess the answer. That is a riddle. Okay, so I'm going to tell you some riddles and you are going to try to guess the answer for that one. The first one are easy. Let's see how it goes with this part, okay? Let's see. What has to be broken before you can use it? That is the first riddle. To be broken. Yeah, what has to be broken before you can use it? I'm going to send it to the chat as well. The fire alarm. I'm sorry? The fire alarm. Oh, that is a good one that, yeah, that might be a, a possible answer. It's not the answer that we have here, but that is possible. Any other guess? What has to be broken before you can use it? This is for first grade. Okay. For first use. Yeah, what has to be broken before you can use it? Broken, broken, broken. I have to go. Mm -hmm. Let's see who is the winner. I'm going to give a prize to the winner. An, an egg? An egg, very good. That is the answer. Fernando Gonzalez has the answer. So, very good. So, uh, you have one point already. Nice. An egg. You need to break the egg so you can actually use it, right? Uh, the next one says, I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? I'm a pencil. <laughs> I'm sorry? A pencil. A pencil, mm, that is interesting. Yeah, that is a good answer. <laughs> that is a good answer, yeah. It's not the one that is there, but it's... it's, it's a human. <laughs> a human, well... A I'm human. <laughs> Yeah, there, there was a, a, an old cartoon that had a, a riddle like that one, you know, he has, he was going to die and the riddle was like, uh, what is the animal that uh, in the morning walks in four legs, in the, at noon walks in two legs, and then uh, at night he walks in three legs. The human, yes. That is the human. Okay. <laughs> So that is that, yeah, U Ulysses, yeah, that, that was amazing, right? <laughs> amazing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really like that one. So that was very interesting. So, and uh, the, uh, I'm gonna read the other one again. I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? All those things are from, let's say, first grade to sixth grade. My um, goodness, and we don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, a candle. A candle, very good. The Fernando's team is on fire. <laughs> Fernando, I see that you passed the sixth grade. <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Myself. It wasn't me. It wasn't me, teacher. 
Yeah, the <laughs> other, I mean, it was Fernando Cosme because we had two Fernando. Oh. That's what oh. I say, Fernando's team. <laughs> Oh, okay. both Fernando and I'm saying. Yeah, we have to imagine that one. Both so. study six, Ray. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check the other one. What month of the year has 28 days? All the month. All the month. Uh -huh. Very good. That is something that is kind of popular here, right, in Spanish. Okay. What <laughs> month of the year has 28 days? All the months have 28 years. <laughs> Very good, Fernando. Yeah. You have two points. And Fernando Cosmo has one. Let's go for the next one. Let's have fun. Uh, what is full of holes but still holds water? I'm sorry? I didn't hear the, the answer. What is full of holes, but still holds water? And a sponge? A sponge. Very good. You have one point mm. already. Nice. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, nice. Okay, let's go to the next one. What person can you never answer yes to? Are you, uh, are you dreaming? How do you say dream, dreamer? Dreaming, okay, very good. That that is the answer. Let's say so. It's like, uh, well, the question was, what what question can you never answer yes to? Uh, it's like, are you sleeping, right? So if you are, yes. If you are you sleeping? I mean, nobody can say yes, because, and they're doing that one, right? Good. David has one as well. Nice. Next one. What is always in front of you, but you can't be seen? You can be seen. Uh -huh. What is always the noise? The noise. I can see nose. Nose. Sorry, nose. nose. Ah, the nose. nose. <laughs> yeah, the nose. That was nice. nose. <laughs> the future. The future. Very good. That is the answer. Okay, Fernando <laughs> Ernesto Cosme and it's Fernando easy, yeah. Gonzalez. They both have two points. David won yeah. and Ana Claudia won. Nice. Let's see how it goes this thing. Okay, we have more. Uh, this is a little bit longer. Let me just tell you what is it. Uh, there's a one story house in which everything is yellow. Yellow walls, yellow doors, yellow furniture. What color are the stairs? What color are the stairs? The stairs. Yellow, if it says oh. everything is yellow. Yellow. <laughs> no, it's not yellow. <laughs> the stair. There is a one-story house in which everything is yellow. Uh -huh. What color are the stairs? Mm -hmm. And there is a stair. Ah, very Are good. Are there stairs? Uh -huh. Very good, Fernando. That is the answer, actually. Because it says one story house. One story house is one floor only. One floor only. Uh -huh. Okay, so the key yeah. is to good. You are on fire. You have three <laughs> points already. <laughs> Fernando Gonzalez is winning, and Fernando Ernesto Cosme is in second place. And then we have Ana Claudia and David. So, yes, when we say one story house that is uh, English from England, and that is going to be one flat, one floor only. So, no stairs, right? Very good. Let's go to the next. What can you break even if you never pick it up or touch it? What can you break even if you never pick it up or touch it? The silence. The time. The silence, the time. Silence is a good one, actually. Time. Mm -hmm. If you, what? If you never pick it up. Even Grab. if you... Uh -huh. <laughs> the floor. A floor. Uh-huh. You cannot touch it. The doubt uh -huh. said the answer, but break. I can't. Tell you. can break. <laughs> um, a little, I promise. A promise, very good, that is it. Promise. 
Wow. I promise, promise, promise. Oh, you're looking on the web. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's possible, but I mean, everybody I copy paste. I, I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sending that one because sometimes uh, there are words that maybe you don't know or things like that. Uh -huh. but, so no, let's I go to that. the next. Okay. Uh, what goes up but never comes down? What? What goes up but never comes down. What goes up but never comes down. Gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nowadays gasoline is expensive, right? <laughs> what goes up? The air. The air. Yeah, the air, but it can go down as well sometimes. I mean, that is like condensation and things like that were right the, the humanity humanity um yeah that is true i mean it doesn't matter what happens the, the we have a lot of, your age <laughs> your age very good that is it so that is the answer for this one what mm -hmm. goes up but never comes down it your age down. Mm -hmm. every year you are a little bit older and it's not possible to go back right mm -hmm. Okay, a few more. Let's see how it goes. Um, let's see. What gets, this is an easy one. What gets wet while drying? What gets wet while drying? The mop? The mop. When you are cleaning. Yeah, when we you are can say that. The floor? Yeah, we can say uh, that that is, that is. Like that is a good answer. Very good. Yeah, a map. That is, well, the answer was the towel, but it's kind of similar. So very good. That is it. So David has two points as well. Next one. Um, let's see how it goes this one. What can you keep after giving to someone? A kiss? Mm, it can be. Keep? After giving to someone, gift, a gift, mm, yes. but you can keep. I mean, you can keep uh. after giving to someone. The love, <laughs> love. It might be. It might be. That is. I don't a prom know. A promise. Um, promise. Yes, it's something. Something, something like when you remember something. I don't know if it, a reminder. No, it's not a reminder. It's something that is a secret. A memory. A secret, a memory. You are very close. Mm. Me, memory. Yeah. Promise. What can you keep after giving to someone? What can you keep after you giving to someone? Well, I can. I can keep a secret. No, a secret. No. Mm, yeah, you are about You cannot keep a secret if you give the secret. I mean, it's mm. it's broken. The silence, right? So. A promise. No. A promise is something that Cosme said, and it is very close. We can say that it's kind of that. Your word. Your word, very good. Your word. When you give your word, you can keep that as well. So, very good. Fernando is winning. I mean, Gonzalez is winning a lot. Uh, let's see. This one. I shave every day, but my beard stays the same. What am I? I shave every day, but my beard stays the same. What am I? The barber guy. <laughs> the barber, that is it. I mean, he shaves, but not himself, right? He shaves. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Other people, nice. <laughs> a few more, and we are going to change to the tests. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the other ones, okay? Uh, oh, not this. Oops. Uh, let me just look for something different. Okay. This is a good one. Oh, it's not the one that I want to share. Let me hold on a second. 
Okay, this is where does today come before yesterday? Where does where does today come before yesterday? The day before mm -hmm. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is about position. So the meaning of this one, if you see the question, it says, where does today come before yesterday? So meaning that in position, where uh, is going to be today before yesterday? Where does today come before yesterday? Alphabet? I'm sorry? Alphabet, maybe. Mm. Very, very close. Related, related alphabet. It's kind of related, yeah. Uh, the dictionary. The dictionary, that is it, because T and then the Y, right? So in the dictionary, yeah, <laughs> today goes before yesterday. Nice. Little tricky. Little tricky, okay. Let's check this one. Let me just check it. What goes up and down but doesn't move? The sound? Oh the sound. no, the sound is moving, but the sound? The sound. Mm -hmm. oh. Light? Oh no, the sound. The sound. The sound. Yeah. Yeah, sound is yeah. a good answer, yeah. We yeah, can say that. I, I, I tell the sound, but, but the sun and the entire planets are moving. <laughs> yeah, that is the thing that is it's moving, right? Let me check. Uh, yeah. Well, in this case, uh, the answer for that one was like electronic staircase that is always going up and down, but doesn't move. It's like this. It, it takes you there, right? Let me just check one more. What is the answer, teacher? Uh, it was a staircase. Electronic. Or a staircase, just in case, because it doesn't move. Oh. Okay, let's check this one. What has a head and a tail, but no body? A little frog? A little frog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And a type, maybe a coin? A coin. That is it. Very good, a coin. Very well, so this is a little practice for you to see that sometimes we can get have, uh, have fun and learn some vocabulary and analyze things. So it's very good because we're thinking in English, we're trying to get with an answer and you are very good in this game, so good. Now we're gonna continue with the tests that we were doing last module, as you remember. Let me just check here. So the first one is clauses uh, of contrast and purpose. Okay, let's see how it goes with this one. Okay. So as usual, we are going to have the questions and then the answers. And depending on the results, we might do uh, two or three uh, uh, tests on this one. So let's check for the first one. Now remember that this is clauses of contrast and purpose. This is a little practice for the TOEFL. So, which one is going to be the correct one? Despite, although, in spite. Despite. Despite, I believe, despite. Despite. Everybody agrees on this? Okay. Number two, I know it's good and affordable. Uh-huh. But. but but everybody agrees yes but yeah. yeah okay number three it is better to do it slowly uh-huh so not to or in order to not or in order not to make a mistake in order not to make a mistake in order not to everybody agrees I, I feel the second one. 
In order the to not. Is for me, in order to not. Okay, we have two and two. Two for in order to not, and two for in order not to. Uh -huh. And the rest of the class? In order not to. Not to. Okay, let's move with this one and let's see what happens at the end. Interesting. However, despite or although he got up late, he arrived in time for the interview. However. However. Everybody agrees? Mm -hmm. Although. No, 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 no. Despite. Mm. Or, or despite despite sound despite yes. maybe despite. yes despite mm. Mm. okay let's go with despite and let's see what happens number five i'm studying english for having yes. or to have or for have more job opportunities to have to have everybody agrees yes Okay, let's check and take that one. Number six, we bought more t-shirts for so as or so that everyone could have one. So that everyone oh, could have that. one. Mm -hmm. So that, okay, everybody agrees on this? Okay, let's take that one then. Although, despite or in spite of the fact that they are good friends, they argue a lot. Although? Although. Maybe. Everybody agrees on this? Despite of the fact Maybe the last one too, yes, maybe. Part of the facts. Do, uh, we have two for that one and two for although. So, and the rest of the class? Uh -huh, we need one more vote. Also, or in spite of the fact. Yeah. One more, please. Hello, anybody else's? In spite of the fact. Okay, we're gonna take that one then. Number eight, she noted it down so as to not, in order to not, so as not to. In order to, in order to not, not forget. Okay, and the rest of the class. Okay, no opinion. So, so as uh, maybe so. <laughs> so as not to forget. So as not to forget. Not to the last one. The last. For me, it's do not or as not to, but um, I don't know. Judith, not, not, not as uh, not, to. not to. Okay, that's the winner. Number nine it says, despite even though, however, even though, even though, and the rest of the people, even, even though, even though, okay. Last one, he set his alarm. To remember to take his medication. To remember to take his medication. Everybody agrees? Yes. Okay, here comes the time. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, let's see. Okay, 80%, two mistakes only. Let's check together. 
uh, in the first one it says despite because we can use despite or in spite of an ing verb. So that is the key. Okay. Despite is going to be with ing or in spite of. Nice. Number two was not correct. You say but, but we normally use however after a full stop or a semicolon. So that is kind of grammar, right? So if you have a semicolon or if you have a period, however is going to be. Okay. Number three, it was correct. In it was it is better to do it slowly in order not to make a mistake. So we use in order to plus infinitive or in order not to, because that is the negative part when we have an infinitive. So you can see that the rules that we check sometimes are important, right? This one was uh, incorrect, number four, despite not. So it has to be, uh, we can I use- it. Uh, yeah, you said that one, right? We can use although or even though at the beginning or in the middle of a sentence followed by a clause, meaning a subject plus the verb. So a clause is a two part sentences. Then number five was correct. Yeah, two plus the infinitive, right? Two have. Nice. Number six was also correct. So that. Okay, number seven was also correct in spite of the fact. Nice. Number eight was also correct. So it's not two. This sounds kind of weird, but that is the correct one. Okay, even though was also correct. Okay. Number 10. He set Salam to remember to take his medication. Let's take one more of this. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Let's take the last one. It's going to be kind of the same. Um, ah, but we need to type here. Uh, it's better the other one because we have options. It's better that one. Okay. So number one, he won the race. Uh-huh. In spite of not being in spite of not yes. In spite uh, of not because it's not a full stop. Very good, nice. Number two, I finished the book. Oh, well. Even though even we didn't even like though. Hey. Mm, we have different here. So most of the people says even though, and some other says. What do you think? For me, it's even though. Even though. So I guess this has the majority, I guess. So let's take that one. Number three, I didn't tell her the truth. So as not to. So as not to. For me, so as not to or in order. I ah, know, so as not to is. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody agrees on this? I agree. Okay. For not, for me. For use for not. We have one for mm -hmm. not and two or so as not to. One more. Okay, we'll take this one because it's the one for the majority, but we are going to check. Number four, the house is very well maintained. Mm -hmm. Which one, I'm sorry? Maybe in spite. Mm -hmm. In spite. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong here. I am not able to take it. Oh, that's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. It seems that something's going on. 
Hold on. Above the web. Time? No. I'm Above sorry? Time. No, it doesn't have, have time. No, uh, this dot don't have any time. But it seems something's going on. Let's check. That's kind of weird. Okay, in spite, right? Let me just check if I go to the next. Yeah, it's like an error. Teacher, but when you use in spite, uh, the expression is not in spite of. In spite of, mm, yeah, in spite of. In this case, it, it doesn't say, oh, it, would it be okay? Mm, that is up to you by now. We can check that one together later on, but let me just refresh this thing. Okay, you say here in spite of, and even to, and so as not to. Okay, and here in spite, that's the one that you were saying, but now you mm -hmm. can change it. It's that I've heard uh, the usage of in spite, it always says in spite, in spite of. of. Yes, that is uh -huh. true. Mm -hmm. Maybe even so, which is the answer here? Although, although. everybody agrees on although? Or even though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's so confusing, yes. Yeah, I know that is kind of confusing, but that's why we're practicing, right? So everybody agrees on even though? Mm. <laughs> Which one? Despite? Even though, even, despite even though. Okay, so it seems that we're not that clear on that one. This is maybe the most difficult that we have ever seen, right? Let's uh, keep even so and let's see how it goes, okay? So number five, I'm uh, training very hard. Uh -huh. In order to? In order to, everybody agrees? For me, for two. For two, improve my personal best time. Mm -hmm. One and one, everybody, anybody else's? In order to, maybe. Okay, in order to is the winner then. Okay, mm -hmm. now, yes, we can go mm -hmm. to the next page. And, uh, okay, what is going to be the answer on number six? The beginning says you can use maybe in this case we can use in spite of together. Okay, in spite of everybody in agrees. In spite of hello anybody? This five maybe. Despite, okay, we have two for despite. Any other votes or comments on this? Okay, let's leave it like that and let's check how it goes. Number seven, which one is the answer? So that. So that. So that. Okay, we agree on this one. Number eight, for borrowing four or four to borrow or for borrow. Or to borrow. Or, or borrow. Oh, oh, so we have four to borrow and the other, I'm sorry. Uh, just four, <laughs> yes. we do just four. Just four, yes. Just for yes, because, because a library is a kind of bookstore or not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the library is where you go and, uh, and 
get some books for you to read and then you return the books, right? You borrow the books. And exactly. if you just go, maybe you will take them without permission. <laughs> well, that won't be <laughs> that good, but yeah, it's possible. Okay, so four, is that going to be the one here? Yes. Okay, all right. <laughs> Number nine, he's not very good at tennis. Uh -huh. In spite of the fact that he practices almost every day. In spite of. In spite of. In spite of. Okay, we agree on this one, nice. Number 10 and last one, you can practice all you want. However. However, everybody agrees? I'm agree. Yes. Yes. Good, let's check. And let's hope for the best, okay? Eight of 10. So the first one was correct. Nice, in spite of not, right? Very good. Number two was also correct, even though I finished the book even though I didn't like it at all. Nice. Number three was also correct. I didn't tell her the truth so as not to hurt her feeling. So you look at this one, it's kind of strange, but that is the correct one actually. Okay, so we can use uh, so as to plus the infinitive or so as not to plus the infinitive to express purpose. So that is this. Number four was not correct even though, so. and it was this spy. Yeah, I guess the ones that say the spy was correct. So remember that the spy or the spy of is with the ing verb, right? Being, mm -hmm. okay. Number five, it was correct. I'm training very hard in order to improve my personal best time. Good. Number six was not correct. So we can use also, even though I'll, the beginning or in the middle of a sentence followed by a clause. This is the same that we failed in the other one. Uh, so let's check onto that one. Number seven was also correct. So that, okay, because express purpose as well. Very good. Number eight, four only, nice. <laughs> it was correct for some books I needed. We can use four plus a noun to talk about purpose. That is the purpose, okay. Number nine, in spite of, very good. So uh, we can use despite or in spite of plus the fact that, that is a cloud subject verb. Uh, that is for you to express contrast. And the last one, however, yeah, the comma gives you something, right? So very good, a period or a comma, then we can use however. There is, a, there is a period before want. That is true. One period that is a stop and then however. Very good, perfect, very good, very good. Now we're gonna do a different kind of test. This is for reporting verbs and me doing refuse to do something like that. So this is kind of different. So my mom insisted to lend, lending or on lending. To lend. To land, everybody agrees. Sister. Sister. Pass. Idea. Sister on. Sister on. I, I, I think. Lending. Lending? Only lending? I. So which one is going to be at the end? I know that sometimes it's difficult, but we need to make up your mind, right? I, I feel on lending. My oh. mom insisted on lending, I think. Okay. Insisted on because on the, the, the preposition I see is needed. Okay, very good. What uh, other people believe? I mean, we have one vote for to lend, one for lending and one for on lending. One more vote so we can decide. Uh 
Anybody else's? It's very confused. I know it's confused. <laughs> they are so, so close. But we need to, we need to see the whole sentence, right? Maybe. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, which one? You say, uh, Fernando? I choose to lend. To lend? Okay, let's give it a shot. So remember what you choose and then let's check. Number two, she recommended, uh huh. <laughs> Taking. 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 To taking. No, taking. Take. Just taking. Yes. Just taking. Just taking. Good. Let's check the because other one. Uh -huh. if, if, if we use to learn in the first one, we need to use to take. I don't know the construction. Is this. Pass plus uh, infinitive or pass from ing. Okay, very well, good. <laughs> well, we, we can use both to, to make sure. <laughs> one, <laughs> one, one. <laughs> uh, if that were possible, it would be amazing. Okay, number three. I could finally pursue Megan. Not to do it. Not to do it. Everybody agrees? It's, it's the same, the infinity of, or the ING. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but it is a depression persuade. I could finally persuade. Not to do it, maybe yes. Not to do it, so, okay. Yes. Very good. yes. Number four, he warned to be. Oh, warned us. This one, us to be. Mm. Warned us, yes. Mm -hmm. Because he... Okay, somebody says being. So being or us to be. To be for me. Just to be. Yes. He warned us to be careful. Okay, so two balls for this one. We're going to take this one and check. Number five, the doctor asked. The second one asked me to stop. Okay, everybody agrees? Yes. Mm -hmm. Asked me to stop drinking coffee. Yes, that one. Uh, uh huh. For me, yes. To me to stop. To me to stop, the last one. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Any other vote, any other comments? The last one for me. To me to stop. I, I, I insist in the second one because ask me. Ask me, it's, it's me. Ask me. Ask me, mm -hmm. the second one. The second one. The okay, second this one. one. Okay, yeah. let's take that one. That has more votes. Number six, I told them, them, to, come them, with them to come with us. Good. Them to come with us. Number seven, they offered. Okay. Me taking me home. Offer to take me home. Uh, to take or me taking? To, Offer to me take me home. home. I'm sorry. Um, the, the same, the same doubt. Uh, and I, I and you or infinity. It's to take, but because otherwise it would say they offered me taking me home. Mm -hmm. So for me, it sounds mm -hmm. better. They offered to take me home. 
-hmm. Yes. Yeah, maybe the second one, yes. Okay, very good. What about number eight? Uh, I encourage my boss. Not to leave. Not to leave. Everybody agrees? Yeah. Okay, number nine. He told, denied, or insisted. He denied. Denied. It was Salvador, he denied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe that is so true. <laughs> I swear you that I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, number 10, accused me, denied, or admitted. Accuse me. Accuse me. Accuse me. Good. Yeah, the last one were kind of easy. Okay, here comes the answer right here. Uh, that is going to be nine. Very good job. Very nice. So, yes, um, we insist on M plus ING. That is going to be the one for this one. Um, it's going to be incorrect, the first one, of course, because we say to lend, but it's going to be uh, with an ING. Okay, lending me the money. Number two, that was correct. Taking, yeah, because recommend is going to be using with ing verb. So remember that we discussed about the verbs that goes with gerund and, and the infinity, right? With so, infinity, yes. Number three was also correct. So we use pursuit plus someone plus two and the infinity. And remember that the negative infinity is not plus two and the infinity. Good. Number four was also correct, us to be. Very good, yeah, we need some object there, right? So that is very important. Uh, number five was also correct, me to stop. Yeah, very good, as me because it needs also an object. Also, this one is the same, them too, right? So you tell someone to the infinitive. Number seven was also correct, the offer to take, very good, infinitive, this one, because offer, we're going to use that with infinitive. Number eight was also correct. We use encourage plus someone plus the infinitive, okay? And the negative is not to and the infinitive. Very good, number nine, denied, very nice. So it's going to be denied on that one because uh, of the ruler and the last one accused. Very nice. You did a very good job, my friend, sir. We will continue doing some tests whenever we have the time so we can practice and uh, analyze about what we can do, what we are able to do, or if we need to study some things, okay? Okay, so do you have any questions before we finish? No, teacher. Good. Let's then check the attendance and then go to bed. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Uh, David Samuel Galdames Monterosa. Present teacher. Good. Jora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Heidi Present. Eugenia. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Ramon Enrique Mata Escobar. Ramon is the one of today. 
Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Good. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Jessica Yanari Cortez Díaz. I'm here. Good. Zuleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. And Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Very good. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in German English. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.